Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting on a very wet, rainy old October night but we're here on Chirk Aqueduct as you've never seen it before. Oh and thank you very much for 24,000 subscribers. Anyway, um, oh it's all gone out, let's carry on this video. So we're actually going to start by running a few miles upstream to Pont Cassafli Aqueduct as I think this is a, a good warm up to then go and see Chirk Aqueduct and Viaduct lit up next to each other and it's quite curious here as well because unlike the complete stone arches of the Aqueduct and Viaduct at Chirk some people may know and you'll certainly be able to tell in these lighting conditions that Pont Cassafli is actually topped with cast iron with basically a big cast iron trough to keep the canal in and I think seeing it lit up like this from beneath really highlights all of the metal struts and structure st well, hopefully stopping the canal tumbling out to join the River Dee below but as you can see it's yeah, I mean it's just an absolutely fantastic fascinating experience to see this sort of irregular lighting out here I've got to say when the lights were just switching on and off in one go rather than fading in and out there it did put me in mind of War of the Worlds or something like that where we're just out here in the complete pitch black Welsh Valley hearing the sound of the river running by and then suddenly in one single go the huge man-made structure of stone and iron is lit up there just crossing the valley as if it's nothing but perhaps I'm getting a little bit over romantic uh, with my speech there but I think you can probably take away just from this video footage that it's an impressive spectacle to see in person and if we head over to Chirk now this is by I believe this is called The Last Inn I just really like this particular shot of the pub front lit up with the aqueduct and viaduct in the distance to be honest I've only ever known it called The Trap and a lot of people still call it that regardless of what the actual name is so um, I'll have to pass on that one even though I stood right next to it and have moored up there for months on end over the years of boat life that you can see it was uh, tricky to try and get the camera to focus from this distance but you can again get the general gist of the effect and it really was well, absolutely fascinating to see it and I particularly liked it when they'd throw in like the various different colours and stuff just as I say what an absolutely fantastic little thing to be able to just go down and see although how good would it have been if I'd have fetched my boat up and crossed over the aqueduct on the boat while it was lit up that's just like you saw the train going across um, at the start of this video so here we are now stood on Chirk Aqueduct looking over at the viaduct arches being lit up and it's a shame really that I couldn't um, go out and wander underneath these uh, arches I hadn't got me torch and when I got under Ponk Suffley Aqueduct after visiting Chirk I was gutted that I hadn't run down to see both sets of these arches lit up from underneath like this but you can see again uh, just the extraordinary different uh, view of the canal and that that it gives you I think in my in my humble opinion it almost made it seem like much bigger much more imposing because I suppose without all the uh, valley lit up and the hills in the distance to give it context and uh, size compared to the surroundings just seeing this lit up in the darkness on its own really sort of draws out wow that's a pretty big structure there I apologise as well at this point in the video if you can hear that boat engine running in the background. It's not mine but as I am on a boat recording this voiceover there's not really much I can do about other boats going past and so on. So apologies if there's any little ticking or creaking sounds in the background. Um, I suppose at this point I'll simply wrap things up and say thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this look at a completely random event here. Definitely completely out of the ordinary for what I'm familiar with with my experience boating and walking and biking over these places and well thank you very much for tuning in please do subscribe hit the notification bell check the links in the description to find my kindle books about life on a canal boat and well until the next time keep it boat worthy keep it interesting have a fantastic day and of course farewell